Okay, so now what do we need to do? We need to go ahead and put keywords in our file and the destination domain in our file, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. What we want to do is get some keywords that are useful for our destination website. Okay, and so let me go to the keyword tool again. Okay, so I wanted to evaluate my website, the website that I want to promote, the real website, the money website. I wanted to evaluate that and tell me what keywords it sees that my website is related to. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is not to do that at all. It's just to do some keywords like this, you know, uh, big websites, who knows, massive websites, um, large websites, any any kind of thing you want for keywords, you can put in a whole list, like 100, 200 up here. And it'll tell you how many visitors there are for that and how many related keywords it would suggest that have traffic. Okay, So there are two ways to go about it completely. And so in my case, I'm just going to do it this way because I know it's going to give me plenty that it sees my website is related for right now. That's kind of useful too. And so I'll just do the extract. And then I B L E R T I F. Okay. And so it's showing me this whole list of things. And these are broad. Let's say I want to go with phrase just to get an idea of what's there. Okay. And I want to go ahead and sort by global monthly searches. And some of these are huge. Of course, they're incredibly difficult to get. Some of them, some of them won't be. Look at that. Competition's medium, not high. That's pretty nice. That's a lot of searches for medium competition. Uh, so anyway, there's that. And all these do have searches. And let me go to the next page, page two. And all of these have searches as well. So all of these words are cool, all 100 of them. So what I want to do is switch from phrase to broad so I can get rid of all the side markings so I don't have to deal with them later. And I'm just going to download. And I may as well download all. And I can do CSV for Excel, download, and I can save the file and put it wherever it goes, you know, your desktop, wherever it is that you know it should be. In my case, it's on my desktop. If it wasn't, I could drag it here, I think, or I would just go to the open containing folder, find it, and then drag it here. It's going to say, oh, it's here already. Okay, fine. So let me just close out of there, close out of there, come back here, dismiss that. Okay, and I'm done with this. I already know the website I'm going to promote, and I know the words I'm going to use to promote it. So I'm through. Let me just close. Now, keyword ideas. Okay, what could be the thing? All right, if I open it, first of all, what do I need to know? You can pull that out. <clears throat> I don't need any of these. Delete, because I already know what's going on. I've got it sorted top to bottom, right? You can see by the searches and the way it does it. And it's showing what looks like 101, but that's because it's got a header row at the top. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Delete. I mean, you can sort any way you want. If you want to sort by competition, sort by competition. And that's good because you want to go from lowest competition to highest competition in that sense. So let's go to data and we'll go, z I think it's A to Z expand the selection we want to make sure it, it moves everything when I sort this column there that way it kept everything in check beautiful how to start a website low competition the high competition stuff will kick in later and I can work my way from the ground up however many keywords at a time I want so now that I know that delete I can get rid of the keyword delete and I have my keywords here it's all 100 Okay, and that's perfectly cool. And I can save this, so just save it that way. And then when you close it, you don't have to save it again. That's just a quick way to do it. All right, now I may as well put in my V2 folder because I'm going to work with it now. So it's sort of a raw file. And what I can say is rename. I can call it like Mo Moji Full List. Okay, this is like the full list of keywords I want to promote myself for. Okay, now. People ask all the time on the two vars because this is what we have to deal with here. This is where we put the keywords we want to promote ourselves for and the websites. And people are always saying, how many keywords should I put at a time to promote myself for? The answer is think about it this way. 
you want to get as many backlinks saying this is possible, as many backlinks saying that is possible, as many backlinks saying that is possible. If you're going to do, a th like, let's say you were going to do, well, there's six here. Let's say you did 600 pages. Well, then I'm getting or 100 links per, you know, 100 backlinks for each of these keywords. That's all cool. Okay, but what if I put like a hundred or a thousand keywords in here? If I put say a hundred even, okay, and if I had that many, then here's the thing: if I create a thousand pages, I only get ten backlinks for that. Only get ten backlinks for that. Only get ten backlinks for that. That's not very many. You know, if I want to go a hundred deep, I need to be creating like a hundred thousand web pages. I inevitably want a thousand for this, a thousand for that, a thousand for that. At least to start and see how far up I can get a rank from those, right? That's the idea there. So I don't want to do too many keywords at a time. And in my menu, I have seven places to put keywords that cycle. You don't need to know that other than, whoops, there's a reason for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven keyword sets. And so let me do this like 14 keywords at a time. Okay, and I'm just going to keep this as a backup. So if I do 14, you'll see what we're doing here. Okay, I'm going to copy that one, which I did. I'm going to go in here. Whoops, don't need to reopen. Just need to switch to it. There we go. Get that out of the way. Maximize that. And just paste. Boom, I got keywords in there. That's really all I needed. Now I just put my website in here with or without the www dot. It doesn't matter. You can take it out like that. Do not put in HTTP colon slash slash in there. That does not go in there. Now, there we go. I might do that. And if it hyperlinks, kill the hyperlink because this is a CSV file. We're not supposed to do that. All right, so what I want to do now is basically think what is my folder name going to be and I'm going to use just a dream keyword here and it may as well be my project keyword. So if I go back to my profile stack and I open one of these load what is it? It's called building websites. Okay, That might be what I'm after. So this will just be building websites. Paste. That's kind of cool too if you go doing it this way first and then you're wondering what to call your profile. You know, just any main keyword will do. So it could be anything from the stack or just something that you want for a dream keyword anyway. Just remember, in this set, we want the dashes gone. We just want these to be regular keywords like that. Okay, unless a dash belongs there, you don't need a dash. Okay, so that's it. Now, there's no magic to this, so no need to send a bunch of questions. Just take any of these and make them that if you want. It does not have to match the profile. It's just an easy way to kind of keep track of your files. Okay, leave all this alone unless you just work in a geotargeted area and you need to swamp a geotargeted area. This is part of how the web pages wind up being quite unique, so it's good when you can have a lot of these in here. Okay, is it necessary? No, you can just have one in here if you want. You're still going to wind up with tons and tons of unique web pages. It's true. So it's up to you. But it's good to have this. It does help. Okay, now our menu. These, this is where all our pages are going to get subdivided into subfolders and the root, which is the main root of the project. Okay, that's not the root of the website. It is that root of that project that we're creating, our building websites root. Okay, so we want to make sure to have the root in here for the menu because it needs to put some pages in the root. Just have root with a capital R-O-O-T. Okay, needs to be caps. And other than that, what are we going to do with these menu links here? This, it would help if we're creating keyword optimized folders for what it is that we're doing, right? So let's use these for our menu links. So I'm just going to paste over the top of that. And then since I lost my root, I'm just going to add it in. Now, a good rule of thumb, you can add the root anywhere, but when you're doing testing, you're not going to produce a lot of pages. So it's good to put the root in at the top and shift the cells down just to make room at the top for the first entry to be the root. Just something to keep in mind. Okay, so that's good.
probably in a V3 we'll put the root at the top anyway and teach people how to do it this way. They would copy from here and then they would just paste there. Boom, like that. Okay. Now, the only other thing is this is going to be part of your URL. That's why it's called a menu. These are for your URL links. Okay. And root just means root. Don't worry. It's not going to create a folder called root. It's just going to put all the files in the main root of that project, the building websites project. But these should have dashes not spaces you can't have urls with spaces so let's highlight them just like that and we're going to hit control h h is in homer <laughs> and everywhere that there's a space we're going to replace it with a dash in that selection that's why it's highlighted so replace all and it's done there you go all of these are correct for urls now there, the, all the folders are going to have dashes in them, no spaces. So now what do we want to do? Well, we have 14 of those, right? Yeah, 14. And we have these seven columns. That's, you know, 14 divided by 7, that's 2 per. So we're going to put two of these in each spot. Paste. That allows our menu links on our pages to actually match what we're talking about. Copy paste and then delete that bottom one by shifting cells up don't hit clear contents hit delete and hit shift cells up okay there you go now where did I leave off with make a page so let me continue copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste all right now I got all this stuff set up the way I want and I could get more if I highlight all this and double click one of these when I see the double arrow okay then I can see it better and if I wanted to I could really kind of rearrange these to get them all to sort of keep track of the same theme how to start a website uh, probably be the same as get a website. Isn't that funny how it has the S? I'm not going to change it. That's the way it came out on the Google search. So that's what I'm going to keep. Unless I want to change it, but there's no point. Um, let me see. What is SEO and how to SEO? How to make a web page, how to do a website, how to do a web page, digital marketing. I could kind of move these around if I really wanted. Uh, I just don't have a real reason. I might do it with this one, though. I might like marketing strategy to go with digital marketing. So how would I do that? Let me just cut this and paste it here for a minute so that I can cut that and paste that there and then cut that and paste that here. Boom. There. Now I got it the way I want. And everything is good. I've got my root. I've got these, which is all of these. And they all have dashes, no spaces. And that's perfect. And back here again, I need spaces, no dashes, unless the dashes are intentional, you know, part of the word or part of the phrase okay on purpose um, and so that's all done there's my destination website the one I want to rank there's my project name or dream keyword whatever I put in there just something it's gonna just show up on the page here and there this way and so it's good if it matches something and so it either matches one of these or it's your profile um, project okay so all of this is done so I'm, I'm going to save that. You don't have to worry about anything else that runs off this page. Don't even think about it. All this stuff you never have to touch. Okay? Not for this project. Now, I don't need to save it because I just did, and I'm done with this file. That was the full list. But you know what I could do? Expand that out just to see. I could say run one. You know, I could put like a one, meaning run one. That reminds me, if I put a one there, it'll follow the format when I pull it down. That reminds me that I already used the first 14 of these. So the next time I come back, I'm going to start with the 15th guy here and make my next project based on the next 14. So I will then call that run two, right, for the next 14. So you understand. Now, I haven't done it yet. Delete, shift cells up. Okay, so there you have it. And I can just keep that wherever I need to keep it. Uh, is a backup, you know, for my projects and clients and different things that I want to do. So I've got all these different projects going on in here. So I'm just going to 
Um, keep it in there. Cut. Clients, paste. Boom. Okay, there we go. So now everything's done. I can literally do the job. How do I do it? I just start doing it, and I can do it this way. I can open one of these and see how my tests look. 